Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and welcome back to Tis I the Only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? Sagittarius, it is time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one in your mind for February of 2024 or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit because my readings are timeless and meant to find you when they find you. And thanks for finding me. How you doing? All right. Sad, we're going to take a look at what's going on. I appreciate you for taking some time to be here. If you could return the love for me, please, and love the like down here and share the channel and the uh, video. Help get us out into the algorithm and help everybody to heal. It's a thing we do. It's a genre. We like it. We're a part of it. I appreciate you for being a part of it, too. And also, subscribe. Set the bell to all notifications. I do go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries Pisces, plus a card for each sign. So come and hang out with me and Goodman in the Wednesday Night Live Band. Your OG mod squad down in the chat, concierge for an evening of fun, enjoyment, and a grand trine in the cards. I love it. Um, Page of Swords all over the channel as much as you'd like. I got playlists galore, collab, meet and greets. And also, definitely check out the latest collab with Caitlin Petty on her original song. And if you are a musically inclined Sagittarius, feel free to duet with us over on TikTok and uh, add your own track. You can even bring a cowbell if you want, Chris, for walking. Was he a Sag? I don't know. Anyhow, let's find out. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the energies for you and the one on your mind on both sides of the energetical fence. Um, highest and greatest good, only of course. You know, we don't even got to say that no more. When you're with me and riding shotgun in my chariot, you got you. I am the crystals and I got you covered, okay? So let's go for it for you and your person. All right, for Sagittarius, we're going to do a nine card spread for you with nine cards on the table. Tenth card out here at the bottom using the beetle tarot. They wanted to hang out for another week. It's probably because we're getting close to February 9th, which is the anniversary of the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show. Really big shoe. And uh, yeah, but we're going to get stories because I've watched a lot of documentaries on these boys. So I got you on that for some stories. And then we'll throw clarifiers at it with my Titanic Tarot because I got stories on that too. I got 2,200 files on 2,200 passengers. Doesn't everybody? But anyways, woo, oh, so we're going to get really deep on this one. OG Snoop Dogg style. Eight of Wands, you're ready. I'm seeing communication with the Page of Cups. Cancer and Sagittarius energy come in on this for a divinely guided connection. Are you starting to notice something deeper, like a deeper soulmate? Similarities between you two? There's somebody on your mind, is there not? Well, that's why they're here, Archer. Okay, got you. Let's go. In that case, we're ready. Hermit card. <laughs> oh, the Help album showed up. I am a Beatle album collector. You need help, Archer. No, nope, I got that one. <laughs> You've done a lot of reflection to clear your head and your heart chakras with justice, Libra energy, to the point that you are ready to go. Um, the runway is cleared and Flight Sagittarius is ready for landing. Let's do it. All right, Sag, for you and the one on your mind, what are we going to do? For the only sign with five syllables, what do we have for Sagittarius? All right, two shuffles, Sag. Let's go. One and two. Oh, weird. <laughs> Let's love this deck for the sassy Sagittariuses. What an interesting shuffle. The outcome, the energy at the bottom of the deck is the five of swords. A lot of stuff that you're going to grapple with and work through to overcome in an energy to clear your mind with the king of cups to the five of pentacles. Angel number five, five shows up for the four of wands. Aries energy and a twin flame connection comes out on this. There's some wishes being granted that you in the outcome will have to work to overcome the energies that weigh you down like an anchor. But you're going to do it from a place of love. King of Cups. Pisces energy. George trying to get his self adapted to a situation where you notice how, and he was a February 25th Pisces, but notice how his body looks differently proportioned from the water level versus his head just above water on that. It keeps your head above water and grounded while keeping you focused on your heart chakra and loving yourself. All right. It allows energy to come out of the cold and override energies that will always be forever plaguing people. Um, there's always ups and downs. It's right in the ebbs with the flows. And you are a mutable sign. So how mutable of you. Nice to meet you, Sagittarius. Let's roll with this. What's your present energy? Six of swords. Using science and energy to reflect back on the past. Like John thinking about Yoko's incoming energy up here near the uh, end of the rainbow. While he's with Cynthia and Julian down here, you're coming to terms with reality and your dreams and manifesting them together. And you got someone helping you, but it's like a guide, an angel, Aquarius energy coming in there. Spirits, divine, whatever you want to call it. God, it could be that. It's possible. Immediate influence on the energies for the situation is the Ten of Wands. You did it. Your energy right there heals up. 
you are actually kicking up your heels, relaxing a little bit more. You're kind of in the middle of a glow up because this is your energy, 10 of wands. You've made it to that point where you've overcome the insanities that, that plague people all the time. Like it's like when you lose a charger cord. I use this to describe the 10 of wands all the time for you because well, everybody else would freak out. Like I've checked that drawer three times for a charger cord. There's not one there. And you're like, just stop at the gas station, get another charger cord. And then when you find the other one, you'll have two. That sort of a thing. You overcome these and it's a, it's a point of completion. Everything from the past, maybe the past 10 years has just been a killer or 10 days, 10 months, whatever. It comes in, you understand it, where it resonates to you, but you're overcoming it and you're feeling it too. Five of Swords, it's so much that it's in your outcome energy. So you won't ever, it's never forgetting it, but it's being able to overcome it and come out of the cold, okay? All right, so let's take a look. What's the goal or destiny? Where are we heading? Oh, the Nine of Cups. Look at George's guitar collection. That's a big collection of love you got there. A lot of hearts on the line and finding that dreaminess that you love and, and cherish on this one here. Like one cup away from completion in this one here, which is probably coming to this other side. Or actually, really, it's like a goal as opposed to your destiny. It's something you want to work to overcome. You actually will wind up at your nine cups point here in your goal destiny. And it's actually both for you, where it is your destiny and then your goal to achieve and get that extra cup to get to your 10 cups. All right, let's take a look at what's going forward here. What's on their side of the fence? Five of Wands. That brings 555 up. Or May 5th might even resonate. Or you're up at 5.55 a.m. every... Like you wake up five minutes before your 6 a.m. alarm every day. Or they do. Energy, it could, the roles could be reversed, okay? Five of Wands here. Is they're in a very similar situation because you've got two fives down here. All right, so you guys are both at that midpoint and working to overcome the stripes and struggles to work together so teamwork can make the dream work. And see, you've got a little help on the other side because look at there, there's two Ringos. There's two, I, I do have a theory that Ringo is actually the one that created the Beatles too. It, like how they tell that Ringo came last and John and Paul and George were first. I'm like, no, it was actually these three dudes were playing around and Ringo showed up and he was like, well, he was with Roy Storer and the Hurricanes. He's like, these three guys got something. He walked over to him after one night at the in Hamburg and he was like, hey, you guys want to join my band? <laughs> Ringo is the click track. All right, he's July 7th, Cancer too, but I'm seeing July 5th as a date off of this one, so that's interesting. All right, what is the f immediate, uh, what's up with who can't pronounce their Fs right? I don't, dude, I don't English at all, so don't worry, judgment-free zones, stop judging. <laughs> the present energy, the immediate influence on their side is the world. In this world card, I think even at the Apple Boutique, they had Archer Sharpie somewhere. It's also available at Hollister and Dollar Tree, everywhere, everywhere stuff sold. It's the world card, they do... <laughs> Sagittarius, you are so much into your five, sixty swords, you ten of wands stuff that you don't realize you've got somebody crushing on you. You've been so busy clearing energy and mindsets that you've got somebody, you got somebody gotten you on watch. Somebody's interested. They see the world with you. You make them happy. You might not even realize it. Could be a Leo. Could be any sign. The world's card is literally, could be any sign. Totally. Um, yeah, let's take it and see where we go. If we take your three cards, because you like, you're bumming out, but you're getting, you're getting there. Your goal of destiny is you want that happiness, that dreamy Pisces nine cups energy, and you're working to overcome it using your noggin. Like maybe even getting deeper into your Akashic records, looking back into your childhood, just really reflecting back a lot. All right. So going forward into it, while they're sitting here working together, are they somebody that's already helped you or already kind of know of them? And you're like, Ooh, wait, Archer, was that name? It's the one on your mind. You know it, not me. I do now, though. Anyways, hi, Priestess. I got you. Okay. Anyways, what's the future influence on the connection? Death card, Scorpio energy, could be a Scorpio, but you are rising like a phoenix out of the ashes and coming into a whole new energy. Perhaps you are even a Scorpitarius because your energy is influencing this on the Scorpio side. But yeah, there's a whole new rebirth and you have come through it much like Scorpio energy. That's why Scorpio is so unique because it's the only sign out of the 12 of us, 13 if you count us, that goes through different levels of extension. All right. And so that is what's coming into this. You and them are rising to a whole new energetic level because you guys just kind of get each other. The Pluto energy into Aquarius is going to be a factor definitely on what's changing the energy. Um, could be some strong cardinal energy in yours or theirs charts as well. Um, and, and like less of the adaptability on the mutable side um, or I mean the fixed side. You're using the mutable side to get to the, I, you know what I'm talking about. It's stuff. It's just, I like stars. It's astrology. I like looking up. OK, let's see what we got. What is the incoming energy on all this stuff? ace of pentacles it's go time brand new start and you're getting ready to write a freaking triple platinum selling album caitlin petty style bill look it's you it's an earlier you it's paul's first guitar the first hoffner but still it's what started everything the beginning of the whole freaking beatles legacy came out of that little guitar well 
and a lot of other stuff but that was that was one piece of your puzzle you guys find this piece of the puzzle that lets you go forward to write from it because even if you look on this it's young paul but in the background is the dreaminess of of future paul all right it's like two pauls interesting anyways environmental factors on that is the ace of oh my god the ace of swords john lennon's like don't forget about libra it's, this is because i made a comment about the bass guitar being what started everything don't worry john i got you hang on sagittarius i got a wrench too john i'm an og mod trick me out with my wrench what do you think oh, it's all right yep cool all right he's good see you have cut out it's a big wrench oh. You have cut out a lot of freaking energy, Ace of Swords, and you guys both go forward. You get this, and there's some mirroring. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. You use your words wisely. John Lennon wrote a lot of really good books. The Spaniard in the Works, check it out. It's a good book. I just gave John Lennon a shout out. <laughs> okay. Libra energy. What you doing with a Libra? What you doing with a Libra, Sagittarius? I don't know, but it's something. All right, let's go for it. What's the inner emotions on this? The Seven of Wands. A John Travolta proof bubble to get you guys through to protect a Six of Wands victory that you manifested. When you look at the Rider Waite tarot, it depicts um, a person holding their wand like Donatello from Teen Ninja Turtles in battle and protecting that Six of Wands that they've manifested, their Caitlin Petty victory, getting the Country Music Award top selling new artist of the year, right? We're going to manifest a record deal for that girl. And then Overcoming your five of wands, strifes, and struggles, so teamwork comes together, make the dream work. On the four of wands, twin flame wish that you manifest, soulmate, deep, whatever, put whatever description you want onto it, okay? Ford and GM, there you go, Motor City. And through the three of wands, following the energies, Aries energy, to go with the flow and manifest what you create when you make that choice, two of wands, to follow your ace of wands dream, all right? Just the way I read tarot into it, okay? But that's where it goes to, and you're protected as you go forward to achieve this Ten of Wands here. So you're going through all the fire. There's a lot of passion, and you might be feeling the heat off of this one, okay? You have got um, Heavy Aquarius. You're here. Big old Pisces, Capricorn, definitely. So you, I'm seeing all levels of Sagittarius, because the world card doesn't mean it could be any sign, but also Libra, okay? So let's go. Leo, if I didn't mention it. Anywho, give me clarifiers on Sagittarius's energy. Six of Swords, Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups. You could be born on the 6th, the 21st, or the 19th, possibly the 5th as well. Also the 7th. King of Wands. Oh, you're feeling better to the Two of Wands, to the Empress. And the Death card. Whoa, the decks are syncing up really quick. The environmental factors are you. You're, you're a very strong influence right here. And an Empress giving birth to something that you wanted and manifested, like I was just describing your outcome and the inner emotions on your Two of Wands to make a choice. Look at that wand you got with your King of Wands. Could have strong Aries in your chart, possibly dealing with an Aries fixed energy too, with Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Strong Aquarius in your energy, Sagittarius. You could have a, like an an Aquarius moon, possibly, maybe even something in the big boys like Jupiter or Saturn, something like that. But it's putting you into a point of a glow up. You've been developing your strengths, Empress energy, haven't you? To the Ten of Wands to overcome a lot of stuff that you've been through. You're coming out of a period where you you were never heard, were you? Like, you feel like like you didn't matter, but then you've got this reward for everything coming in. Nine of Cups to the Seven of Swords. Nine of Cups squared. When my guides give me messages like this that where clarifiers are matching up, nine nine shows up, you could be a life path, number two or nine. I've seen a lot of nines already in your energy, too, coming through. But it's showing me, keep going, Archer. You're on message with the goal or destiny because you're working to overcome and get to that last cup that I mentioned. All right, rewind if you missed that part. Seven of Swords, you're a healer, aren't you? You come into situations to like a stealth bomber, Aquarius energy, and Aquarius is like an all signs. And you take the Five Swords away, but you leave the Ace of Swords there so that you guys can continue forward in clear and concise communication with justice, more Libra energy. So you're feeling a lot more of this. Maybe like even recently you've gotten into tarot because I'm doing a lot of describing. It's like, like the stuff that I've learned on my journey with tarot. I had an awesome mentor. Still move. Magician to the Tower card, February 17th, Aquarius energy could be something that's like Aquarius and Pisces. And look, the magician's carrying the tarot deck with them. Um, you're in a whole new kind of confidence that you're approaching with the Empress. Strong Gemini, fixed energy, and Virgo on this one here. On that King of Wands too, you have got a reward coming in for everything that you've been through. The Pluto shift into Aquarius is allowing you to heal and clear a lot of the energies and go deeper than before with that akashic records we were talking about maybe with what you got into you developed this but then meanwhile you've got this crush going on here too like you're going to even notice new signs coming in 
you're noticing audible signs or visuals, something here that's giving you more confirmations that's attracting this in. This whole new glow. Are you like, if, like, if you're an old soul, it's like you're aging backwards. Like leap year. Like think about the Pisces that were like February 29th, Pisces 30. When you don't have that date, they like age four years. It's like dog years, right? You're aging backwards. You're feeling more youthful, more youthful, more innocent, and definitely more energized because you've manifested it. Magician to the Empress energy. Ten of Wands. Keep going, Archer. You're there. Ten of Wands squared to the Nine of Cups squared. Right there. The other cup's got to be hanging out over here because it is like that freaking close here. Whatever's attracting this in is the stuff that you overcome from the feelings that you hadn't been wanted. Your thoughts never mattered. You had to cut everything out to find yourself and you did it the right direction. When you reach that point from all your past things that got to the point like this, 2.17 a.m. Where the straw that broke the Titanic's back, the keel, and the ship fractured and split in half from everything that the Titanic had been put through since 11.40 p.m. Those two and a half hours were just a lot on that boat. With the Knight of Cups, it's what's bringing this offer in. Knight of Cups, it's a very unique offer on this other side, and this might be the one that either you're unsure of, didn't even know about. It's the one on your mind, okay? So let's find out, because you've cleared a lot of energies in this one here to return to this one. You're like in a form of like, like right church, right pew. Whether it's past returning or past new, or just straight up new altogether, you know, all right? You've adapted faster than anyone else, and you're being rewarded for the time you took, okay? Let's see what we've got. Give me something on that. I want to see the magician still. I want to see the magician still with that tarot card deck that I'm looking at here. Page of cups to the six of cups with the seven of cups. Holy crap, with the wheel of fortune. Yeah. You've manifested a whole change. This is the Wheel of Fortune. It's like the wheel in a paddle boat. It's Captain Smith keeping his hands on the wheel through all the events as the energies come through. All those Wheel of Fortune moments that led the Titanic to its point. It's like an energy of a Sagittarius grabbing your necklace and being like, Jesus, take the wheel. Just let go and let God. And Jesus is like, hold on. Wait, we didn't have all this stuff. We didn't have cars and buttons and stuff back when we were here. Doubting Thomas was still trying to reinvent the wheel. Like, we could do it better. So you keep your hands on 10 and 2. And we'll, we'll guide you. You got this in this one here. So you're spending a lot of time with yourself and the ones you trust, your deep soul connections, the kiddos being involved, the family, the people that, that like you, you show the love to and with because you trust them. And you're finding ways to learn the adaptability together in this one here that brings your monies and your passions together. So you've earned this as it comes in. Okay. All right. Let's see. Give me something on their energy too. Appreciate this. Here we go. Let's start with that five of wands towards the world card because they've had to overcome some stoop. Let's find out. Seven of Wands to the Seven of Wands. July 7th is here. Or also angel number 7-7. Seven, seven. Interesting. Okay, those are numbers to look up, especially if you have Kyle Gray's book with Two of Cups. The 27th as well. A lot of dates and numbers. I'm into a Sagittarius that's kind of digging numerology. Or like, you or your person, they're like, they might have some power. One or the both of you guys are like into some of the deeper stuff. And there's divine timing that comes into this one here. So let's see. Because they're guarded. Their heart chakra is closed off. They're doing the same thing you're doing. Seven of Wands. Protecting their victory that they've wanted and manifested. The Four of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. Yep. King of Pentacles. Could be a age difference. Or a gender or neutrality difference here. But they're using their words very wisely in this one. Um, you both have been through a lot in the past here. I'm pulling on... A lot of having to do what you have to do to survive. Ten of Pentacles, so the Four of Swords. The 14th could be a number that resonates to you guys too. But it's really that they had to work on this one here. They were very scared to love because of everything. So they did what they had to do. It was more like maybe even when you guys met. So I'm being told this is somebody you know of. But like they weren't looking for anything because they've been closed off. They dealt with so many liars and so many cheaters. Nobody respected them, told them what to do. That they really didn't care about what they did to anybody else. Because they were like, well, it, it is what it is. Because whatever you receive in from what others push out is what you wind up pushing out. You know, with the fool card. They were closed off to a lot of stuff, but you've awoken them there and to a point where they're looking for something new to balance their chakras. Seven and four show up. April and July could be dates that resonate as well to you. But this here brings it in because they've had to go through a lot of overwhelming energy, just like you did. You guys are in some strong mirroring here. Nobody ever really respected them. They might even have come from a broken home or they had like a lot of different things that they changed. They've dreamt of something new with you that caused them to go that way. So they're working very hard here to overcome and level up to your level. Six of Wands. 
Did I not mention you guys are both protecting your Six of Wands victory? Caitlin Petty getting a Country Music Award for all the work she's putting into it. There's a new beginning that you guys just find balance and harmony now into this one here. You're both being faced with rewards for a lot of karmic debt that you guys have paid off. In a page of pentacles to the ace of pentacles there's the go message between you guys and it's coming out under the death card strong scorpio energy on that too and leo it's always a leo i'm a cancer i know to watch the leo keep going archer you got the hermit card to the page of swords oh my goodness sagittarius i'm gonna call you the cr hi cross watcher how you doing i'm archer i'm gonna call you out on this sagittarius you got people snooping on you quietly and privately behind the scenes okay Virgo energy, but it's because they're learning from you. I'm pulling duality off of this page of swords. They're watching you because they learn from you. Maybe you're a teacher or a healer with that seven of swords, and it allows them to see. They see you as a guiding light that follows them into you. They don't speak ill of you. They don't even speak much of you. They keep stuff very quiet into this one here because the energy is just between the two of you guys. And I'm hearing the, oh, that's that's the harpsichord from Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Da -da 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 that's John, that was one of John's masterpieces. Sagittarius, you or this person are manifesting in a freaking masterpiece on this one. Maybe you've been seeing like, like I'm seeing the kaleidoscope eyes, that line, like a Sagittarius, maybe when you were a kid, you liked those kaleidoscopes or you still do, or you've got like a star machine in your room. So like at night, it's like your nightlight, but the whole stars, oh, that's cool. And you go deep with that, don't you? Losing the sky with diamonds, that one was, that's what, the key of A. Yeah, I think. Double check. Ace of swords, key of A. Perfect. Okay, that's 440 hertz. So you are in alchemy right now and creating. If you do, if you do like sound waves or sound machines, the sounds of the ocean will resonate to you right now. And the Sagittarius that likes the sound of thunderstorms. 440 hertz is what, it's a brain booster that clears the energy and allows you to focus on your manifestation. So you're creating something very powerful here. You two are like an energetical magnet, okay? Strong Virgo energy on that one. But it puts your poles into proper alignments. Nice energy. All right, go forward onto this one. Let's see what's up. Give me something on the Ace of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Leo, Libra, Capricorn. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, okay. That'll work. The Star. Thank you, Spirit. Grateful. Don't forget to say thank you, Sagittarius. And pick up lucky pennies if you see them on your path. That's a sign from, from the good spirits above God that you're on your divine guided. And did I not mention that this person, your outcome was this, this hermit card, that light, like the Nantucket light ship that guides the ships into port off of New York. And Aquarius is a freaking all signs energy reading on here. They are, with Pluto going into Aquarius, your adaptability is achieving and receiving that. You could have strong Aquarius in your chart, or they do. One of the both you guys do here. Because it's like the poles that are attracting you guys together. And it happens... Just in the nick of time, like I hear like an old school phone ring and the, like the bells on the old school phone. And it's something here like Nickelodeon time that comes in. That's something you didn't expect that totally manifests into this one here. You two have been through a lot. More on that. Thank you too for being here, Sagittarius. I appreciate you. You're cool. It's cool. <laughs> the seer. Sag, Sag. Oh, well, yeah, of course you're watching me. Hi, nice to meet you. Sagittarius, you guys come together here and override something that you two did not expect but totally manifested, okay? You guys have rode through so many similar energetical storms with the Seer to the Star card on the Knight of Cups that you have a very, very unique love connection on this one, okay? <laughs> Queen of Cups, and it's unconditional and forgiving love to the Nine of Swords, to the Knight of Swords. Oh, thanks, Sag. You already get five syllables and you eight of swords me into the Knight of Swords to the Nine of Swords. I said it, though. Strong Gemini energy here. Communication, Mercury, and all the planets moving into Aquarius are definitely affecting and going to affect the mindset to end the silence. You're going to find all those other songs besides staring at the ceiling on there. These, the silence in the evening, the passengers noticed that. They didn't notice the iceberg hitting Titanic. The ship was just too, it was a big boat. But yeah, it's freaking star energy. They noticed the silence that led them towards the answers that you guys see here. So you both learn from the past, right? Without having to... That's the way I want to put it. It's a higher level. It's like you both just get each other so you don't have to bring it up. Like you can talk. It's like something where love, loyalty, and respect outweighs everything else. And you guys get it. You, you don't dwell. You don't dwell. You just go forward. Sagittarius are the last sign in the world that want to dwell on things. Right? You guys like the adventure, the new signs, the new sinking, and just having some good time and having fun here. It's a whole new setup for you that brings you into a love that you haven't had in a long time. And you've worked so hard and had to cut out so much stuff that you didn't even want to cut out. 
but it works out in the end that it puts an end to the silence and you guys communicate in a very powerful high level energy it's fast moving with the knight of swords maverick shows up with goose and rooster to come in in the danger zone and it'll bring in a very energy that'll keep you protected through all of those thoughts the eight of swords thoughts because in reality these were not big freaking ugly looking wrought iron gates first class passengers we're going to look at that these were actually barn saloon doors that were oak finished and hand carved all this lady's got to do is push the door open and she comes through because ultimately sagittarius you are protected leo energy on that one heavy strong leo into that one here all right it's like you're a whole new you because you come in in this unconditional love healing and trust that you have worked very hard to achieve all right nice to meet you how you doing hi sag all right and you it's beautiful energy i saw this coming when i sat down here to read for you sag and you deserve it above all else all right I hope that helps, Sagittarius. I appreciate you for being here and being a part of this. Claim it down in the comments because you have done a lot of work and you deserve it. All right, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates and who you're dealing with, what's going on. You've got some strong Aries energy. Um, Virgo, Gemini is here. I'm seeing Taurus, Scorpio, big time. Heavy duty Aquarius and Leo coming in too, okay? But with that world card showing up, it literally like the center anchor of your freaking reading, it could totally be any sign because we're not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, but all the parts of all our charts. And I appreciate you for being here wherever your Sagittarius placement is, Sag, because you alone are awesome. All right. Um, thank you very much for taking time out of your day, your week, all your love and life and energy to be here. I appreciate you for it. And um, yeah, I know it takes me a minute to get to all those comments down here, but I do see them, love them, and appreciate them. And I do reply to them eventually. I'm kind of Knight of Pentacles, but try to trust it and true. My arrow gets to you. I am Archer. <laughs> all right. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you and love you. And Spirit, thank you very much for the messages we got today for Sagittarius. We are truly grateful for you. Thanks. All right. Until next time, I will see you then, Sagittarius. Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah. Chariot. Love you.